Are you tired of having 20 guitars just to be able to play every song you ever wanted to play? Are you tired of changing string gauges on your Floyd Rose guitar? Do you love your favorite guitar so much you basically want to play every song on it? Here's the solution! WebEDT! Hey everyone! Today I'm going to reveal a very super duper secret about my recordings and you can see it in the background. It's all about the pedal that will totally change your life. It's the Wemmy DT. Have you ever wondered why so many people use so many guitars for different bands, different tunings, but Actually, I just use one guitar. Even in one video where I created riffs from Trap B to E standard. It's all possible with one guitar, that's why. Even if you think it would be fake or something to play drop B, drop D on the same guitar with the same strings without changing them, there is this awesome pedal that does it for you. It's a Whammy DT and it has very different functions. Most of you might know the Whammy pedal because of Tom Morello and his iconic guitar solo in Killing in the Name. <laughs> You can also use the big brother of this Whammy pedal, the Whammy DT, to pitch shift the tuning of your guitar. Basically you have one octave up and one octave down with half steps in between so that you can alter between one and eight half steps downwards, one and eight half steps upwards and you have all the tunings in between which is kind of really amazing. So I just need one guitar and I can play something from Metallica to Slipknot and anything in between. The only thing you have to know is that this pedal is of course messing with the tuning and also messing with the guitar's frequencies. Which means if you drop tune the guitar too much, you might get cut some frequencies out and also get some latencies in your signal. So whenever I use my Whammy DT to play some Slipknot, I make sure that I have tuned my guitar already to drop D or drop C. Drop C is even better because the difference between drop C and drop B is less, just one half step, than with drop D and drop B. Because if you're going too much down, the highs might cut out, and if you're going too high, the lows might get a bit cut off. But in the mix, you won't notice anything between like one and four half steps upwards and downwards, which is simply amazing because you just need one guitar to play all the songs you want. I can demonstrate how this pedal sounds like in the mix with just one guitar, the same strings, and you will be really amazed what this thing can actually do because it's plain amazing and you don't need kind of your room full of guitars now, you just need one, your most favorite axe, and you can play every song you like.
have a guitar with a Floyd Rose, which kind of gets really annoying if you change to a thicker string gauge, then you can just use this pedal to your Floyd to drop D and get all the slipknot tones out of it. This is how I did it with my covers at least. So this pedal will totally change your life. That's my opinion about it. And that's the biggest secret I have hidden or not from you. And if you want to get started and play songs straight away, get yourself this pedal because it changed a lot for me. I even have it in my live setup with Oversense because we also play songs from E Standard to Drop B. And I, I couldn't kind of carry four different guitars with me. So this is the ultimate thing you need. Right, I'm now here with my pedal board. That's my main setup I use also for live. And you see here my FX signal chain with a chorus and a reverb and a delay, which is well, mainly from Boss and Volvers Audio. I have here my Korg tuner and I will update here my new Flatlay Centurion boost pedal which just arrived so I still need to mount it on here. And here is my Whammy pedal. And you see here, here is the normal whammy function where you have the harmonies and you have here also some shifts like a dive bomb, an artificial dive bomb or octave shifts and Mr. Tom Morello uses this octave shift so that you can move your foot back and forth and create this uh, weird sounding notes. And to activate you have here this knob and here you have the drop tune function, like it says, and when this light blinks, of course, it's active. Like I already mentioned, you have here eight half steps you can use, even with the octave step and the octave and dry out, which means you have an octaver kind of effect on your guitar. And you can also use the shift up function and use it like the same way, like just shifting it up. And then you have the higher octave in your dry signal in the final step or you can just get your half tones up like you want, which is kind of really crazy. And I will now show you how it sounds like and what the pedal can do to your signal. Like I already mentioned, there are some frequency problems happening, but just when you kind of really exaggerate with the drop tune or shift up. So be sure to clean your ears and listen to the differences. <laughs> I guess you're also interested in how expensive this pedal is, right? So I will just check it out here and you will see the pedal is about $165 or 150 euros and it's a really great pedal. If you like, you can support me and use the link I have put in my description. I totally tell you this thing is really worth it and it has changed a lot for me as a YouTuber. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed this tiny video about my secret Whammy pedal and I want to say many thanks for the awesome support I receive on Patreon these days. You guys are simply amazing. Check out some of my riff lists if you want to see the pedal more in action. And if you like, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell and select all in order to get notified about my new uploads. Stay tuned and rock on!